What's up guys? It's your homeboy Sean. And this is advice from your homeboy. Now, today I'm gonna talk about dating people with kids. I saw a thing on Facebook. A young lady said if you date somebody with kids, you're settling for less. And it got the whole Facebook in the uproar, you know, people with kids defending it. I personally don't have any kids. I've dated a few women with kids. And I really wouldn't say that just because someone has some kids means that they're that, that the person without kids is selling or dealing with less. I think it's kind of a case by case scenario. I think it's more based on the situation at hand, really. I mean, you know, for me, the only gripes that I had with the women that I dated with kids, one was their availability to date. So if you got younger kids who can't stay at home by themselves, I had to wait for them to get a babysitter. So they would cancel a lot of dates. And, and that gets frustrating because since I don't have any kids, I can plan you know weeks in advance about you know what I want to do, especially when it comes to dating women. So yeah, the availability was definitely a headache. You know, it definitely limited the time we could have intimacy. <laughs> and, it, and it definitely limited a lot of the stuff that we could do and how far we could go. Uh, another issue I had was, you know, if I'm dating somebody, I'm actually dating to see if we have potential to go further. So if you will be my wife one day, those would be my stepkids or really my kids. I would treat those kids like they were my own. And some of the things that I would discuss with them about possible punishment for some of the things that kids do, I wouldn't punish the kids, of course, because they're not mine and we're just dating. But I'll, you know, suggest certain things like, hey, you know, when I was growing up, if I did that, you know, X, Y, and Z, you know, I get my privileges taken, I would, I couldn't go out that weekend, wouldn't get stuff for Christmas, I mean, stuff like that. And the girls would kind of look at me and laugh and say, you know, who are you to say that? Who are you to tell me how to raise my kids? And I'm like, whoa, you know, I'm like, if, if, if I can't even give a suggestion about the course that you should take about these kids, I know if I marry you, you're definitely not gonna want me to discipline your kids or or anything. I mean, it's not always just discipline, it's also influence, you know, positive influence, you know, teaching them certain things and all that kind of stuff. So that was another issue, it was really about the whole, those aren't your kids, you know what I'm saying? So don't tell them nothing or don't tell me nothing about how to raise my kids. You know, that kind of really got to me too. Yeah, for me, those were like some big ones, you know, like, you know, those are the ones where I watched and I was like, hmm, you know? And then uh, also, you know, I feel as though, you know, not having kids of my own, I would prefer to have kids with someone without kids because I don't want that whole broken home, you know, favoritism possibly looking type of thing. You know, I wouldn't favor my kid over the other ones. You know, I, well, I say I wouldn't, I don't know, but I mean, I would definitely want to treat the kids, you know, fair. But I would like my first kid to be with someone that's having their first kid with me, you know, if, if in a perfect world. I understand the older we get, the more people have kids and the more that you're going to have to deal with that. Now, if you got older kids, you know, hey, that's cool too. But like I said, it's kind of a case-by-case uh, -case situation. And, and what do you watch and what do you look for? So a few things that I would look for would be really, was it from a previous marriage? Or was it just, you know, a, a relationship that didn't work out? Are all the kids from the same person? Or is it multiple people? Are these exes or baby daddy, baby mamas, are they cooperative? You know, are they, do they understand that the relationship's over? Are they mature enough to co-parent? Are they still trying to get back with the person that you're dating? Are they gonna intervene in your relationship? You know, are they gonna be disrespectful? Do they wanna fight? Do they wanna talk about violence and all that kind of nonsense? You know, how are the kids raised? Are the kids respectful that, you know, that their mom or dad is dating someone new? Are they rebellious? You know, it goes on, man. I mean, there's a lot of different scenarios that you can kind of run down on what makes you comfortable. So I think if you're comfortable with with the situation at hand, what kind of parent is the person that you're dating? I mean, are they a great parent where, you know, you agree with a lot of their parenting style or are they somebody who doesn't pretty much comply with what you would do? Uh, Cause I really feel like two parents, whether steps parent or real parent, you guys gotta be on the same accord, you know? You guys gotta really have the same mentality when it comes to how to raise these kids, have a single singularity voice. So it's it's a lot that goes into that, that kinda goes by the scenario and what you're comfortable with. So you can't just say because someone made the mistake that they had kids that they're lesser of a person. You know, there's some dope people. Like, I mean, I was in, in a household where my mother had two boys from different dads. And yeah, you know, I wouldn't see she was less of a woman, but I just think that there are challenges that come with that. You know, it's just another layer of a relationship, really. 
but that's something that you need to communicate. So I really feel as though you got to kind of really pick your poison on what can you deal with, what you can't deal with, you know? But I'll tell you this, don't deal with somebody if you don't want to have kids. I mean, that should be pretty simple, you know? Because don't abuse the kids because you didn't want choose to have the children, you know what I'm saying? Don't punish her or him for having kids, you know? If you don't want kids, just don't date, date people with kids. So that's pretty much it. So yeah, yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. You know, from, from from that Facebook point of view, seeing a whole bunch of people kind of take offense to that, you know, uh, and, and and rightly so, I believe, you know, I mean, because you can't just call someone out because they made a mistake or a few mistakes or whatever, saying that they're the worst. You know, it just depends on the person. Like, don't date people with kids, then. and that's okay. Like, I feel as though if you have kids, you have the choice to date someone without kids or with kids. And same thing for me and anyone who doesn't have kids, you have the right to request somebody who doesn't have kids and they gotta respect that, that's all it is. Don't try to change someone's mind. You know, you wanna go ahead and have somebody just believe what you wanna believe, that's where you gotta find the people that do believe what you believe. So don't try to change people, just be honest up front. You know, don't try to make it work and think it'll get better just because you like the person and they look good, you know? Stand by your guns, man.